Hey guys, thank you so much for watching. Real quick, before I get into this video, I want to tell you about PopCultureZone.com. They are a website specializing in comic books, some of the hottest variants, and CGC comics. And for those raw comics, if you are shipping to the domestic United States, you only pay $4.99 flat rate shipping. PopCultureZone.com. Now on to the video. Normally, we're going to get into our new comic book day picks, but before we get into our new comic book day picks, our picks might be altered, especially if your picks are Marvel books, because a friend of the channel, Drew from from Wanted Comics, reached out to us, and you know Marvel's starting <clears throat> to get their shipment. Diamond still distributes for Marvel, but the, basically Diamond's getting it from Penguin, right? Penguin's the main distributor for Marvel, and, and people can get straight distribution from Penguin, and those that are doing so are getting huge, huge, huge damages on their books. I think Drew mentioned 100% damages on his books, and being on the West Coast, the, the books arrived before he could reach out to Penguin before their office is closed. Um, so we, wanna, we got some pictures here, and I know other retailer friends, even uh, friends of the channel, John six one at 616 Comics, uh, was it? Uh, another YouTube channel had him on talking about the damages he received, but I'm curious to, you know, what y'all's thoughts, people in the chat, if they've heard anything similar, if there's retailers that are watching, what are your thoughts? But Penguin, no good. Like he's calling it, he's calling it the thin mint box because the boxes are just so thin and books are getting damaged, right? It, it's too early to be this horrified before Halloween because this is straight up 100% horror because I'm just going to start rolling through these as you guys talk. This is bad. Yeah, that one came with a thumb on, thumb on it, evidently. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I love that yeah, I mean, cover. It, I'll, it's I'll, pretty I'll bad. say this. I, it, it's bonkers, absolutely bonkers to me that a company that is new to the distribution game would have problems like this. Like if I was this company, you, like if most most smart people would be like, listen, we're we're getting into the new into this game. Let's find out what the other guy does and not do that. And what is Diamond known for? Fucking up people's books. Yeah, just tossing books in a box and tossing the incentives on top, and it's QA'd bitches, and then you don't get half your books, and then they show up in Walmart packs. Yes. Yep. You're exactly right. This is the problem. And uh, it's coming out the right out the box with a, with an L, man. Big yeah, time. And it, it, lots of damages. And then I don't know. I mean, I'm not a retailer, but I've had friends at our retailers. I've been in talks with them. I know that Penguin. I don't know how Penguin's different, but I don't know. Or can one? You're out. So now tomorrow, you know, how much money are you going to lose on New Comic Book Day? I will say that Drew or one of the comics. None of these books are going to be for sale. He's not selling this. He won't do that to the customers because he takes care of those customers. Just like John at the 616, I'm sure, is the same way. But, I mean, this this sucks from a business owner, especially if, you, you know, you're a small business owner. Maybe you're not, you're not Midtown. You're not, you know, TFAW. You have a small local comic book shop, a brick and mortar shop, and your whole shipment just got freaking destroyed. What are you going to do for new comic book day? Hey, I know you want Marvel books, but here's some pretty DC stuff instead. Or, you know, we're waiting on replacements. And then, you know, there's always that new comic book day. I wouldn't even say hype from a speculation standpoint. Just the new books hit. Well, whenever your replacements come in, that time has come past. The, the interest isn't as, as there anymore because there's another new, new comic book day a week later. Mm-hmm. Yeah, those boxes are half the thickness of the diamond boxes, it looks like. Yeah. Not that I'm giving diamond credit. I'm just saying that box is way thinner than the diamond box. Yeah, not very good for Penguin. Random is the best part <laughs> of that name right now because it's, it's just randomly thrown in there. and It looks like, you know, there's no – I've seen somewhere diamond will put – Sometimes they'll put a box within a box, but there's like no protection at all. It's just almost the same. It looks like the enough size to put the books in and ship it. Yeah. Well, bad. here's the other here's the other scary thing that uh, John from Six One Six was talking about is uh, these books are not being pallet shipped. 
Mm-hmm. They're not guaranteed pallet shipping. Therefore, they are literally just being chucked and tossed with no no interior protection, nothing. And there's like the Thin Mint box, as Drew was saying. That's it. And you get a lot of shipping companies that these people just see that publishing thing on the side. They don't know what's inside of it. They're not experienced with this. They it just they don't know. Yeah, and it makes me wonder also, you know, um, I would imagine it'd be the same, but if Diamond's ordering from Penguin House and then, you know, just like secondary distributor almost, are, I imagine they're probably getting books and that ship the same way from, from, from Penguin House, right? As I stutter. Uh, this is another example of horrible institutional corporate hubris of Penguin Random House. They're famous, famous, old-ass company. Right? Yeah, and, and, and Disney's like, Oh, we're looking for new people. And Penguin's like, look, we can distribute more. And like everything on paper, everything on paper, cheaper, more, everything. Yeah, money. Disney's like, yeah, money, money. And they don't, like, they didn't even test run shipping. You know how to figure it out? Like, they don't give a F about us as because we are a secondary. Like, we're we're kind of a secondary market. That's like sort yeah. of what we are. They and And Marvel too. I mean, like, they're like, giving us the garbage paper you know all day and they're just like so easy to tear up they don't have any respect for the secondary market yeah, they and don't care they don't care and this is and but we the secondary market is the backbone of the entire industry this is another example of just money men in the fucking meeting rooms thinking like oh we're gonna make extra money because these suckers are gonna keep buying this shit and they don't care about what the secondary market is they yeah, don't it's just care. logistics to them they don't they don't care about the collectible part of it and it's just dumb i mean like you didn't do a test run like you didn't like is there no consultants like who is in charge here like what what is going on like how can they be how can they have so much money and be so stupid glitch in the matrix yeah, i brother. think the letter section of all the back of these marvel books should be hate mail for penguin house i don't even think they have you know, what about them um, do they still have like the retailer summits and stuff like that oh gosh not after uh dennis went went crazy on them no uh, but i mean i'm sure they're getting there's got to be some type of sounding board for for retailers to well, well it's funny you know i bring that up that if if you guys don't know the story like diamond took a lot of heat a couple of years back over there over this exact problem just mm-hmm. tr- no horrible condition on the books they're sending out so much so that at one of their own retailer summits a retailer threw up a box full of all their books just destroyed up on the stage and said here you go tell us about that you know like it's a big deal it is a major deal and to have penguin not Oh, it's it's kind of infuriating. Yeah, it's 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 a level of frustration that, you know, even I think every comic book collector at one point, um, maybe in the back of their mind, even if it's not a brick and mortar, they're like, hey, I'm going to create a diamond account and kind of retail through a website or whatever. But then you don't see this side of it. And then at the same time, how many pre-orders do you have to cancel now? And then by canceling those pre-orders, then you get the other stupid drama side of it. Well, that book is now selling for $50 on the secondary market. They just canceled it because they're going to sell it later for more money. When really you're just trying to be an honest retailer and be like, bro, the books are damages. I'm not selling these because that's bad, bad as a seller to sell damaged books. I'm trying to get replacements. I'll let you know when you try to be, transparent and honest but there's you always get caught in the middle or a lot of times you know you're waiting on replacements waiting on replacements then they come back to you and be like sorry we don't have any replacements this is another one where incentive our uh, exclusive variants john at 616 had an exclusive variant they came damaged not from penguin house but from diamond try to get replacements we don't have any to give you watching youtube videos of walmart packs and he sees his van get pulled out of a walmart pack and he's like wait a minute you don't have replacements for damages but my books are showing up in walmart packs what the fuck so it's that's the type of stuff it's like i'm a collector only i don't i don't want it i don't have i can't deal with that level of frustration i mean like smaller companies there's like a there's names attached to these smaller companies so they they stand by reputation quality stuff like that and Penguin Random House is just a faceless, nameless, giant corporation. They'll just put up another human to be like, oh, it was my fault. And then another human. like, And then we're all going to pretend this didn't even happen. And they just have a patsy. That's what Disney is doing with Chapek. But it's it's 
it is an institutional problem with these yeah. huge overly huge scaled companies that don't really care about the customer they just yeah, they need, want our they money need a better a, a quality assurance right like someone to qa you know spend money on some qa and and and, sh and take care of shipping um it doesn't it doesn't have to be bulletproof to the point of us but it has to be some level of protection there to you know make your yeah. odds better that the books you're getting you're not going to get a hundred percent nine eight you know <laughs> hey i want my all my books to come bagged and boarded in top loaders but there's got to be if they don't resolve this, this we need a boycott. This. Yeah, I, I think we should boycott. Like as consumers, we should get together and boycott, because when we, if we don't ever exercise our buying power, you know, they'll do whatever the hef, f they want. You know, they'll they'll do whatever so, they want. Let's talk about that. Is that even possible in our industry and in, in our hobby? Do you think that if we all said nobody's buying Wednesday comics for for a month, do you think that we could even pull that off? I think we can. I think because we're such a tight knit. And kind of a small community too. Mm -hmm. I mean, compared to other communities, I think for the first time, because of the internet, first time ever, we could actually pull this off and say, "Fuck you, Disney. Fuck you, Penguin Ram. Like, yeah. fuck you guys, man. Because what the f? Like, you you're charging us more money for sheer quality books and then shipping. Like, it's not right. It's not they, right. The, and we gotta I, take a I, stand. I get that, but then I also see them being like super naive or ignorant enough to think. And then just cancel cancel comic series because they don't get the point of the shipping sucks. Not not unless because if we did a boycott and it was really well done, it would yeah. hit the media. It would be a PR nightmare. They would rather solve the problem than because it's a PR nightmare for, yeah. for everybody. Like then you got the other side. Told you the comic bubble was about to bust. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so I mean, if you're if, if if there really was a boycott organized, let's just organize it far enough in advance that we our retailers are uh, given the opportunity to not order so many books so that we don't hurt them. Because I'm with Rob too. Uh, here, some L LCSs need the Wednesdays to stay alive. No, so no. I mean, I mean, but it's just one publisher, right? We just buy all the other books from every other public. You know, it's not like it's oh, it's not like do. we buy all the books every week. Like I mean, we all we all buying every yeah, book every week. Or... You know, we just shift. We just shift our purchasing power. It's not that we don't buy any. Like yeah, we're so talking about the shop, not, not us, but the shops boycotting it. Oh, I'm talking about us. No us and working with the shop, like and all of us working together, like working together, because the owners are also sick of it, and the smaller businesses that sell comics are also sick of it, like. Everyone at the bot, everyone underneath the top of the food chain is fucking sick of this shit. Yep. And it's just disheartening because, you know, you heard about Diamond for all this time, and then you get Lunar coming out, and what was the other one that the Midtown one that kind of isn't doing it anymore, right? And then DC, now Penguin House is like DC great service. alternatives. Now Diamond will maybe take. Care. And you're finding, I haven't heard too much bad about Lunar, but the you know, but these other alternatives, they're no, they're no better than Diamond was. Well, one of them has been shipping comics since its inception, and that is Lunar. Is it Lunar, right? Yeah. Lunar is a discount comic book service, so they know yeah. how to ship fucking comics. Yeah. So they shouldn't have a problem. Um, and I remember back in the day getting my books from uh, DCBS when it first started. It was glorious. Yeah, when when mm -hmm. incentives were worth getting from them. <laughs> yeah, you get them in Mylars and, and fullbacks. And, and it was cheap, like, below ratio. Yeah. Uh -huh. It was wonderful. But they know how to. They, we definitely know they know how to ship comics. So if they ship something out and it's bad, then there's just something that has to be done. 